Uncle Charlie and Miss Catherine are engaged in important experiments at the lab. So, don't disturb their work. I won't, Mother. Johnny? You know, your Uncle Charlie has made some major discoveries. You should be proud of him. I know that, Dad. That's Caroline. Hurry, it's time to go. Okay, I'm ready. Hello, Caroline. Good morning. Hello, dear. Johnny, you look after Caroline today. I will, Dad. Oh! A tremor. Johnny, don't go. It's too dangerous. I don't care. Come on, Caroline. Enjoy yourselves. See you later. Goodbye. Be careful, both of you. Catherine, Good we're morning. not too late, are we? Good morning. Hello. At the moment, we're doing some experiments on cold sleep. Cold sleep? Yes. We're trying to preserve various creatures for extended periods by freezing them at very low temperatures. And are they still alive? Oh, yes. They awaken when we thaw them out. That's incredible. What's in here, Catherine? In this room, we have some monkeys. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It's just a baby. <laughs> Actually, he was asleep for over 20 years until this morning. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. We call that one King Kong. Come on, I'll take you up to your uncle's lab. Oh, it's fantastic. It sure is. Is this the control center? Well, it's about time. Hello, Uncle. I got up late this oh. morning. Good morning, Caroline. Look at the mountains. We had a warning from the Seismological Institute today. There seems to be some subterranean shifting. It looks serious. Maybe an earthquake. Yes, but nothing will happen suddenly. Oh. Well, Caroline, is it interesting? Oh, yes, especially the cold sleep experiment. <laughs> Dr. Lee, the children are very concerned about our monkeys. Hmm? Yes, you get the feeling they're really dead. Are you sure they'll live again? <laughs> Why, of course they will. Come, I'll show you something fascinating. <laughs> there. As good as new. Is it all right? The freezing didn't hurt it. No, it was only sleeping. We could have left it frozen for a hundred years. Or even a thousand without causing it any damage. You see, with our new process, we can preserve life almost eternally. Ah. Oh. <laughs> We've even experimented with human beings. Really? Human beings? Hmm. We have here a very wealthy man, James Bedford. In his will, he requested that his body be frozen immediately after death. We gave him various compounds to reverse the decaying effects of old age and exposed him to liquid nitrogen at 196 degrees below zero. And so, we hope that when he awakens, 
You'll be even younger and healthier than before. It seems wrong to tamper with the laws of nature. Ah, an age-old discussion. Here. Uh, this room is for very special experiments. Johnny, don't touch any of the equipment. This capsule is used for people, right? And they're frozen in there? Once they're inside, all the controls are set for our tests, and a computer takes over automatically. Then we transmit our findings to the world's leading scientists. But when they're frozen at hundreds of degrees below zero, it's just like they're really dead. Yes. Only they're not. Hmm. Don't they feel anything? Uh, no, nothing. We first prepare them with a special injection, like an anesthetic. And then it's like they're sleeping. Some even tell us that they were dreaming. Oh, it's really incredible. <laughs> Johnny, don't go in there. Come on out. We haven't completed those experiments. I just wonder what it's like to be frozen. Now get out. Or I'll get very angry. Oh, oh. An earthquake!